Hey there folks, got a new Little Cup battle? It's against Juggernauts of Twitter. He challenged me through Twitter, and I gotta say, I like that. I like being challenged through Twitter. So if you want to challenge me, my handle is Infinite Antar. Handle, screen name, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so Little Cup battle, I'm bringing my older and suckier Little Cup team because he said he was fairly new to Little Cup. And um, based on the Pokemon that he brought, he didn't bring any of the three M's, um, Mind Food, Mischievous, or... Um, Murkrow, so that usually is an indicator that this probably isn't the best team. No offense, dude. Uh, he leads off with Fampy, as I lead off with Surskit. Fun fact, Fampy gets neither Rapid Spin nor Sturdy as an ability. Um, Rapid Spin is a move. Uh, so just good to know, he likely does have a spinner in Squirtle, but spinning is much more difficult than defogging, so I figure that's okay. Um, I go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump. It actually gets him down to what would appear to be 1 HP, but doesn't like activate a Focus Sash or anything, so just randomly, I guess that guy has a lot of special defense. Uh, I'm surprised to hear it. Anyway, Surskit, uh, yeah, Ice Beam, and, uh, I mean, Ice Shard isn't going to do anything, but he figured get some damage off on me. Take him out with a uh, Signal Beam, and that is the first KO of the battle. So now out is going to come that Squirtle, and I figure he's probably just going to wrap its head. Squirtle's going to get its speed lowered. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out into, I mean, again, I'm predicting the rapid spin here. So I go out into Long Claw, my Hone Edge, uh, take a little bit of damage from the Stealth Rock, uh, but, you know, doesn't really care. He actually goes for the Fake Out, so that's fine. I go for the Shadow Claw, does a decent amount of damage. He goes for the Waterfall. Um, I don't think I've seen many Squirtles in Little Cup, and I'm pretty sure the Squirtles that I have seen usually tend to run Choice Scarf with Water Spout. Um, although I think that Frillish does that job better. Don't quote me on that. Frillish might actually not get Water Spout. It might just be Jellicent. But anyway, I do manage to take him out with another uh, Shadow Claw, and that is a dead Squirtle. So now out is going to come Riolu. Riolu. Uh, it's a shiny Riolu. Uh, really neat animation um, look in Gen 6, in my opinion. It goes for the Iron Defense, and I'm thinking, interesting. Uh, also outspeeds me even after the sticky web, which is kind of intense. Oh no, sorry, no, prankster. Boy. Okay, so I actually do have um, the sacred sword, which bypasses all those defense boosts, but I figure why screw around with that? Just go straight out into Minimus, um, who is my. Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, fungus, and I figure that should be fine. He turns out he went for Roar. So he does have rocks up, it's true, but. Um, yeah, so I, I figure, let's just keep switching out. I do have a regenerator on this team. Um, I go back out into Minimus. He could just keep roaring. You know, he does have priority prankster roar at this point, um, assuming he has copycat. Uh, but instead, he goes for the iron defense. Was very surprised by that. I guess if I wanted to break through that, I could have just gone for the shadow sneak, but then I wouldn't have wanted to take a shadow sneak back. So here I go for the spore. He doesn't protect, so usually you gotta be careful because uh, if you go for spore, they'll go for protect and then they'll use spore back at you. Although, Minimus actually, this is this was a problem in Gen 5, not a problem in Gen 6 because um, Minimus is grass type, so is immune to spore. Here I just go for the sludge bomb to get damage off and does a decent chunk of damage, enough that I feel confident going for the Giga Drain next turn and getting the KO. So that is now uh, three KOs on, my, uh, on his end and no KOs on my end. Um, you get what I'm saying. I didn't really quite say that exactly right. So now Alka's going to come Magnemite. He's going to go for Hidden Power, uh, probably Hidden Power Fire. I guess if he's running the uh, Arena Trap set, that makes sense. Uh, I just go for the Spore because, you know, if you're not going to use one of your Pokemon as Sleep Fodder, then I'm just going to I'm just gonna Troll Spore. Uh, this guy, I love Fungus so much. Uh, it's such a great Pokemon. And with Regenerator, too. So now I go out into Nescaton. Uh, and here the idea is you don't want to activate Berry Juice. Uh, so I'm going to let him sleep. I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin to break the Sturdy. So now Sturdy is broken. Yeah, so um, that's right. Most one Sturdy, not Arena Trap. Uh, and I don't mean Arena Trap anyway. I meant Magnet Pole. Um, but yeah, so I'm not exactly sure why, what the advantage of Hidden Power Fire is. I mean, I guess, yeah, it helps you against Steels, but I don't know. Anyway, going to go for the Earth Power here, is going to take him out, and no worries about Berry Juice or anything of that sort. So, nice kill for my, um, my, uh, Baltoy. So now I was going to come Shinx, uh, a little bit of a strange switch considering, well, I guess he thought that my other move would be Psychic, but whatever, I just go for the Earth Power here, and it is going to KO Shinx, not a problem. 
Uh, and then his last Pokemon is going to be um, Machop. And, you know, I've got everyone left on my team. I've got many, many options to deal with this guy. Uh, so, yeah, he loses speed, uh, and that means that I'm going to outspeed. I'm going to go for the Earth Power. It's probably not going to KO because it's not super effective. And, indeed, it's not even a three-hit KO. He goes for the knockoff and takes me down to six. Not going to want to take another one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out here. I'm going to go out into, if I'm not mistaken, Chin Chow. Yes, indeed, I go out into Chin Chow and, because I can just go for the Dazzling Gleam. He goes for the Bullet Punch, thinking he could probably take me out that range. I think ground resists steel, so I might have actually been able to survive that, but it doesn't matter. Go for the Dazzling Gleam, it's super effective, does not actually take him out. Goes for the Dynamic Punch here, uh, and that means I'm going to be confused, and that kind of sucks, but you know, I, I'm thinking the best option is probably just to switch out. So indeed I am going to switch out right here, I'm going to go out into Long Claw, he could go for the knockoff, but I just didn't see that happening. He goes for the Dynamic Punch, and so that's great, I can just take him out with a safe Shadow Sneak, and that is a full-blown body bag 6-0. So Juggernauts, I mean, this you said this was one of your first Little Cup battles, so you did pretty, I mean, that happens when you're new to the game. So, uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. I finally figured out how to stop the battles from being cut off at the end. Actually, I guess I did that the last battle, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, so now I have, like, ten seconds to just talk. And I guess I really don't need it. So, with that, I'm just going to sign off, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.